This happened last night. Get a job at McDonald's. Need cash. Work in the back arranging meals. Cutie 3.14 comes in with an 8 year old daughter. Ask for a chicken nugget happy meal. Daughter is really polite to cashier. Says please and everything. Throw in an extra nugget because of her kindness. A few minutes later, manager tells me to mop a spill. Is right next to the mom and her daughter. Ears drop on them. Mommy, look! The people in the back gave me an extra nugget! Why? Mum replies, It's because they're dumb enough to work here that they can't count. My first one. Mum and daughter laugh while I walk away. Why are people so unappreciative? My friend said I should share this here. Be me. 13. Born with this deformity called funnel chest. Have a one inch dent in my rib cage. Pick related. Spending a week in some Christian summer camp. Start swimming one day. Take shirt off, people immediately notice. Dumb fucks are absolutely fascinated by the deformity. That evening, one of my roommates comes into my room. Tells me to pull my shirt up and lay on the floor. I'm confused, but do it. Motherfucker takes out a bottle and pours water into the dent. Dent acts as a bowl, most of the water stays in it. Slurp the water out of the cavity with a straw. Be me. Wake up middle of night. Need to shit the JPEG. Use bathroom in the dark. Realize I feel still half asleep. In an attempt to condition my mind into not thinking I'm pissing myself and my sleep is okay, I begin to move my arms and touch the cold walls to feel in reality. Finish shit. Go back to sleep. Fast forward two days later. Be me still. Go to bathroom. I better check I'm actually awake. Flay alarms. Touch cold walls. Yep, seems to check out. Commence piss don't give. Immediately wake up from dream. Covered in piss. How the fuck has my brain cucked me out of my unconsciousness? How has it managed to bypass what's basically a lucid dreaming technique? Fuck! Sitting at the bar, drinking alone on a Saturday night. A woman comes up to me and taps me on the shoulder. She says, hey, is this you? And holds up her phone to me. She has Tinder opened and is showing my profile. I'm even wearing the same jersey that I have on the Tinder photo. I say, yeah. She says, oh, cool. Makes an exaggerated motion of swiping left, then starts laughing. She makes her way to a group of tables, covered distancing, where everyone is laughing and looking at me. I ran out of the bar without paying. I don't know what to do. I didn't pay and I feel like shit and I want to kill myself. I want to go back and pay, but I can't imagine showing my face there again. Found out my dad likes tomboys. Talking with my dad. Talking about torrenting games and such. Tell him how I get my torrents from a site called Fit Girl Repacks. I tell him that it's surprisingly a girl that does all this shit. He says, Oh yeah, I like girls who stuff like that, like eat shit. What? Like skateboarding. They fall and eat shit. Oh. Yeah, I like girls like that. Continue talking with him. You think my dad would like tomboy anime? Be me. 22. Overweight beta loser. Decide to fuck it all and get my life in control. Get new clothes. Go to the gym. Work out harder than ever in my life. Sweat dripping off me. Can't feel my legs. A couple of chances walks by, and one of them say to the other, What a fat loser. He's technically right. I'm losing a lot of fat. Nice. Keep going, man. Rusted, chipped piece of shit sword. Probably been rusting in the caverns for three decades. This is a good sword. Was Aragon the first autistic king? Now. Cocaine. Get the packet. Knife. Sharp. Cut, yes. Look at that color. Rustic. Simple. Now. Pound note. Roll. Tight. Now this is my favorite. <sighs> Fuck me. Be me. In Mexico to visit friends. Not my first rodeo. Pickpockets beware. Cut hole in pocket. Slip dick in hole. Take public transport. Wait for my mark. There he is. Punk with sticky fingers. Make myself an easy mark. Not too obvious. A few minutes later, kid tries to lift the wallet. Touch his penis. He knows it. I know it. My face when he looks at me with disgust as he gets off on the next step. Mexico is a great place. Be me. Confused my muscles with every which way possible. Starting to see a plateau. Devise a plan to finally get my games back on track. One day, ask GF for a haircut. Sit down, nice and relaxed. Immediately smash my head against the kitchen counter. Place myself in a medical coma. Muscles have no clue what is going on. They think that it's in their end. Get pronounced legally dead. Begin to snicker inside my head in the absolute bewilderment my muscles are going to receive. Get placed in coffin. Muscles think it's really the end. They've given up. Placed in the ground. Dirt begins to fall in coffin. 
Now it's my time to strike. Let loose a thunderous COME ON! as I punch through the coffin lid. Family fans scream in horror at the sight of my bloated corpus ripping through the flimsy wood. Muscles haven't even woken up yet. Launch myself out of the grave. Functional strength. Sprint to my car. Power down the highway to the nearest gym. Pick up a dumbbell and beginning my 8 hour arm workout. Muscles are in complete and utter panic. Have no idea what's going on. Can audibly hear the screams of confusion emanating from my biceps. Cackle to myself as they have no choice but to grow bigger and bigger. My first in the ultimate supplement is death itself. Go to school. Don't get shot. God, I love Europe. Be me. Neat loser. Hate myself. Not good at anything. It's Pizza Friday. My mum makes pizza dough, and I make the rest of it. Mum usually doesn't have pizza. Eat my pizza upstairs in my room. Tasty dot PNG. Go downstairs for more. My mum calls me into her room. Hey Anon, I ate some of your pizza. I hope you don't mind. Whatever, Dota VI. You make really good pizzas, Anon. They're the best I've ever tasted. My mum makes my bro try some of my pizza. He loves it as well. My first said I'm actually okay at something. Love you, mom. Told this girl I had a fetish for police women. I am black. She sent me this with the caption, POV, I'm standing on your deck. <laughs> Fuck. Shaken, not stirred. I got curious and wanted to know if there was an actual difference between shaking a martini and stirring it. I thought it wouldn't matter, since you're just mixing the ingredients, but apparently a study was conducted to determine if the preparation of a martini had any influence on its antioxidant capacity. The study found that the shaken gin martinis were able to break down the hydrogen peroxide and only leave about 0.072% of peroxide behind, while the stirred gin martini left behind 0.157% of peroxide. Based on this information I've conducted, that for James Bond to be able to detect the difference in this small, he must be massively autistic. So ever since I was a kid, I used to do these dance moves and hand gestures in only specific locations. Example, corner of cafeteria, and a toilet stall, etc. Thinking I would cast a spell to break out of the simulation. Be me, fourth grade, at school. Walking back from recess to class. Lean against railing of staircase, second floor, fifth step. Do an Egyptian dance with head moves and everything. Chin into a base of staircase, drops dead from heart attack. Panic. Do it again a year later to test theory. Ending some kid this time. No one will ever believe me and call me a schizo, but if you do it at my old school on that location with a very specific Egyptian dance, you can just kill people. Why pass? Blood. Be in the grocery store. Suddenly think of a funny thing. Start smiling uncontrollably. Realize that you're in a public where people can see you and you're making a fool of yourself. Try to forcibly curb the smile, causing a kind of civil war in your face muscles. Does this happen in your culture? I saw you do this. Embarrassing. Thank you for watching this video. Make sure to subscribe to Mr. Green and check out all of his social medias down below. My name Goda. Uh.